If there was an award for the most disgusting hair, my hair would take the prize. You know when you feel like it's not greasy, but it's not great either, and the ends are just frazy and dry. Frazy is not a Swedish word, English word. Frasig, I was about to say. And that is Swedish, and that's like crumbly. Yeah, anyway. Before I hop into this, get ready with me, I just wanted to say that it is sponsored by Look Fantastic. You guys know I have an ongoing sponsorship with Look Fantastic. This time around, I didn't do a shop with me if you have seen my other videos um, because I wanted to try something different. So today I'm gonna do a foxy eye with a bunch of products that I have picked out from the website. So all of the products that I'm featuring today, you can find at the website. Look Fantastic has a bunch of different brands. They have very luxurious brands to like Berry M. I just put on this lip balm and I love it. I, this lip balm, like, it's no money at all, so. I just wanted to say that if you wanted to, I will have all of the products linked down below and I will also have a link to the website so that you can go ahead and check them out. I, as you guys know, I have shopped from Look Fantastic for many, many years now and before I even partnered up with them, I used to purchase from the website and I just love the brand. And I love all the people behind it, so I am not gonna ramble on, I'm just gonna get started. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this product. It is like a moisturizer and like a really thick cream without it. It has all the benefits of like a rich cream, but it's not as thick as it, and it's not gonna be like having a really thick moisturizer before starting your day. I kinda wanna end my days like that. I don't wanna begin them like that. And it has this scent, it's just beautiful. It's very like citrusy, and I love citrus smells or scents. I think you see scents. Fun fact, I haven't been to the gym for years. Like it's literally been years. I don't even wanna say how many years it's been because it's been a lot, like maybe five. I said it, I said that I wasn't about to say it, but I did. And when you go to the gym, you get sweaty and when you get sweaty, you get friends. After the first day, I'm taking my Dr. Jart Sika pair. You guys know I love this one. Uh, but after I went the first day, this is by the way, like a skincare product and a color corrector in one, which is why I love it, because it's not only gonna cover up, but it's also gonna treat your skin during the day. But the day after I had been to the gym, I woke, I woke up with a little pimple right here. The day after that, I woke up with it a little, I woke up with this one. It's like they don't even want you to go to the gym. It's like, oh, you're doing something great for your body. Let me just punish you a little bit. Let me just punish you a lot. But I know that a lot of you guys have um, acne just because of the fact that you're wearing masks all day. And that kind of, obviously, is a lot of bacteria on your face. So I have two foundations here that I wanna use and I'm gonna mix them just to get a little bit of a lighter coverage. The first one is the YSL foundation that I have in the shade B30. This is obviously too dark for me. And then I have the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover in the shade 1.5, which is too light for me. So I am just gonna take one and one pump from the foundation and one and a half pump from the Nude Sticks one. And then I'm just gonna mix them we have Singa in the background. And then I am gonna use my hands. I was so happy because I was doing this Get Ready With Me and I was talking about the fact that I loved to nowadays use my hands to mix up my foundation. Who knows, might not love it in a week, but right now I do. And there were so many of you that was like, yeah, I always use my hands. And I was like, you do? I didn't feel alone in it. I know, what, what is she called? Alana, oh, 
Alana, Banana Alana. I can link her down below. She's friends with Samantha Ravendahl. She always uses her hands and I have just loved that, that she does whatever works for her. I have loved a little bit of a lighter coverage these days. So that is why I kind of like to uh, go in with my hands because I feel like you kind of spread out the product. You don't get it as full coverage because you just kind of drag out all of the product and you, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. But I wanted to talk about one of my observations when I was at the gym. So as I said, it's been many, many years since I've been to the gym. I'm just gonna take a little bit right here. The one con is like greasy hands, which is not great if you have a white couch, but obviously <laughs> I don't. Now I'm taking my Nude Sticks Bondi Bay Bronzer. Love this product. I don't love to go in with it like this. I don't do it with any of my other cream products either nowadays. So I do just take a little brush and I just do like this. Zooming in a little bit and then I just go in and chisel very lightly my cheeks uh, again i kind of do like thinner layer nowadays but again okay sorry rant for my rant um so i haven't been to the gym in many many years and when i went to the gym it was just kind of normal for men to have these the clothes i'm talking about now like to have these ginormous what is it called in english I can't even remember the Swedish word, but you know, when it goes down to um, this area, it goes down to their stomach, so you can see everything. It's like Sunny Beach 2012 kind of vibe, if you've ever been there, I have. And then the girls was just kind of wearing like bicycle shorts, bicycle pants, and a top a long armed sleeve or whatever. It was just kind of like, you know, nothing special. And now people kind of dressed up for the gym. And I was like, what the fuck? Here I am, I was standing like, because I didn't have a lot of, I still don't have a lot of like workout clothes. I can't find my workout clothes. I don't know where they are. I can find like pants, but not like my shirts, so I had to take like a black shirt that has like suns and moons here. And I was like, people are gonna look at me, they're gonna stare at me. I sleep in that shirt. I, I take out my dog in that shirt and then I have a jacket on top of it. And I was just feeling like, you know, going to the gym in my pajamas, I was just feeling so pathetic. We can just pretend that I didn't go off camera to do my brows, but in fact I did. I know when you're doing like, have I even said what we're doing today? We're gonna do like a foxy eye. I'm gonna try it out, but of course I'm gonna add a shimmer. The problem is, not the problem, but you kind of have to flick out your brows and I'm horrible at changing up my brows. I am so bad at it. I'm trying. Ish. But I'm not great at it. So. Anyway, the palette that I want to use today is my Naked Reloaded palette from Urban Decay. I bought this in one of my Shop With Me videos that I can link right up here in case you wanted to go out and watch it. This is just what the palette looks like and I also did my eyeshadow primer, obviously. Now the foxy eye is almost like a cat eye and I wanted to go in with this knowing how to do it but still not knowing how to do it. So I haven't done it ever but we're just gonna see how it turns out. And the thing is that a lot of people have done this with neutrals, but you can obviously do it with colorful makeup as well. I think it would be very cool to do it with one of these. Like imagine doing a green and then taking the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Scarab. I'm not gonna use this today, but I have been swatching it for so many times since I got it. Insane. So first off, I'm just gonna take uh, take the shade Bribe, which is this one, and I'm just gonna take it closest to my brow, 
to set my little eyeshadow primer and this has a little bit of a um, shimmer to it without it being like a foiled shimmer the the girls at the gym was like wearing sets so they were wearing what instagrammers usually wear when they are having like a sponsorship or whatever they were wearing you know matching sets so the pants and then a matching top and everyone and their mama is wearing these um pants that go up in your asshole and i just don't understand how they can wear those and be comfortable because it doesn't look very comfortable i'm gonna start off with the shade blur which is this one and what from what i've seen is that you're just gonna like flick it flick it all i want to do is like blend but to create that shadow and that kind of shape so i'm just gonna do that on both eyes i want to preface by saying like it's not wrong to have these sets that they were wearing it was just very interesting and then some girls yes there were mostly girls was kind of almost nude <laughs> I felt like some people were maybe there to just look pretty, to maybe meet a partner, but just to like take photos and whatnot, because I was staring at these people and I was like, but some of them were hardly working out. There was this couple, not couple, but there were two friends and they stood on like the treadmill and then like the cross trainer, then like a bicycle and whatever. And every time they were starting to get hot and sweaty, they jumped off. And then they were like... <laughs> and then they just switched machine. <laughs> I was like, it's pouring. It looks like I've peed myself, but okay. It looks like I've showered, but okay. Now I'm gonna take the shade Bucked, which is this one. Bucked. And then I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna flick it. I haven't set my face because I wanted to be able to like change it up if I wanted to. Not change it up. Um, but I wanted to be able to clean up if I just didn't like it. If you wanted to see another look with this palette, I actually have one that is up on my channel and I can link it right up here in case you wanted to. Now I'm gonna take Endgame, which is the deepest brown in this palette. And then I am just gonna Okay, so now that we got this one on, I actually enjoy it a little bit more. It's, it's almost like when I'm doing my smoky wing. And I feel like this took a little bit too much time. So I'm just gonna wing it and try and like, now I'm going in with a little bit of the shade Bucked just to blend it out. And I'm just gonna do it like this because I feel like I don't know, like I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more like me if I just get to fix the shape a little bit. I actually really enjoy this. This end game just made everything like go together. And I like to even like smoke it out right here. I'm gonna take the same shade, end game, but I'm gonna take it on a, one of these a little bit more, a little bit. I'm gonna take it on a shader brush and just kind of press in the pigment right here so that we get it to be a little bit darker and to really get the shape that we want. I've gotten some questions like what kind of brush I use to do my um, smoky wings that I usually do and it's usually brushes like this Sometimes I even do it with big brushes like this. It kind of depends on what I'm having close by and that's like clean. But I do recommend you guys to check out Look Fantastic if you ever wanted to. Um, they have great, great prices. 
like the Too Faced pumpkin spice palette that I got. 30% off now. Um, that would never happen in Sweden. Um, at Sephora, they would never have it that affordable. They sometimes get products that we don't even get to Sweden. I remember they had the Biba palette, for instance, from Natasha Denona. I wasn't interested in it. I am, however, very interested in the Metropolis palette that I don't have and never picked up because I'm an idiot. Okay, I actually really enjoy this. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm actually gonna take the shade Bribe on my lid. It's not gonna be the only shade that we're gonna use, but I wanted to have it a little bit like a base. So I'm just taking it like this, like packing it on. And then I'm going in with a brush with a little bit of bucked on it and just kind of blending like this because I don't like my harsh lines as you guys know and I kind of want them to mix together a little bit. Really enjoy it. It, it looks very cat eye-ish or foxy. I mean foxy obviously. Then I got five different pigments from them. I can't stop. Liquid eyeshadows and, and the pigments, it's like I can't stop. So obviously the first one was the Natasha Denona one that I showed you guys. We also have this one from Giorgio Armani. It is the shade nine, just nine. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like swatched. Super pretty, I think would go really well with this look. Um, we also have another one from Giorgio Armani which is the shade two. I'm just gonna like lay out. Swatched it right there. Oh, so stinking beautiful. And then we have this Tom Ford shade. I have recorded a video with this one uh, that is gonna come up pretty soon. Hopefully it's like, uh, a, 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 uh, it's a good ready with me. So this is a cream. You can purchase only the cream if you want to, but obviously I, I'm a little bit extra, so I also wanted the topper shade. And that is what that one looks like. I think I'm gonna take a mix, perhaps, of both of these, and I'm just gonna use my fingers. So the Giorgio Armani uh, Eyes to Kill Stellar in the shade two. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of pigment and just kind of add it as a base because I feel like this shade is gonna match a little bit be better than the Tom Ford shade. Now the Tom Ford is expensive. It's ridiculously expensive, but oh my God, I haven't been able to put it down. It's just so beautiful. So if you think that this looks a little bit weak in pigment, it is because I'm kind of tapping it off on the back of my hand before and then going in with some pigment because I don't want to lose the shape of the eyes and I don't want it to be too overpowering. I'm just gonna take this once again and kind of go over just a tad. And then Tom Ford, same thing, using my finger. Just going in like that. Now I feel like I should have just taken the Tom Ford shade. Did I show you the Nude Sticks one? I had the Nude Sticks one as well. This is the Magnetic Nude Glibbers in the shade 99% Angel. And that is what that one looks like. I feel like you could even use it like a highlighter on your face, which is sort of like Nude, sting, nude, nude, sticks, nude Sticks thing, like multi-use products. I'm gonna take my Uma concealer really been <laughs> it's in the morning it's before work I overslept a little bit I didn't I just didn't want to wake up so I didn't I think I'm gonna do like this okay wait I'm gonna blend this concealer out first I have been enjoying concealers that is closer to my skin tone than anything else because 
I don't know, like I'm over this super white under eye. Oh, and I showed you guys on Instagram that I've been to the gym and I got some questions like, do you work out with makeup? And yes, I do. But I actually like, I live pretty close to the gym. So what I've been doing, <laughs> the two times I've been, <laughs> is that I have um, went home and had a little bit of like a snack, like an egg or something, just so I'm not too tired after work. And then what I've been doing is that I've just changed my outfit at home. And then I've taken like my cellar water and removed all of my makeup except for my mascara and brows. So I remove my eyeshadow and all of that just because I sweat a lot and I don't wanna, um, I don't want to have a lot of makeup at the gym, but still I don't need to go through the hassle because you guys know I have a waterproof mascara, so I don't need to go through the hassle of removing my mascara. I can do that when I get home and I'm doing my little skincare routine. So now I'm gonna use my powder. This is the YSL Souffle Eclat. <laughs> and it has a little bit of like a um, pinky rose shift. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know how well you can see it, but it has a rosier shift. And I'm just gonna set right underneath here. And then I like to set here because sometimes I wear shirts that goes pretty high. So I just like to do like this, just in case. I have a new mascara and this is the one that everyone has been talking about. It is the Maybelline Lash, <laughs> Lash Sensa, aha, Lash Sensational sky high. I'm going to be quiet when I'm doing this. I'm just going to put in some music. Don't need someone to save me. No. And don't come running to blame me. Mm. From miles away, I can tell that something's off. The way you look and how you pause. When you talk, I think you said enough. You said it just realized I forgot to put anything under my eyes but we can do that in a little bit I am just gonna let the mascara sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more just to get a little bit more length for a bronzer today I'm gonna use this one from Estee Lauder this is the bronze goddess and it has three different shades so it has a little bit of like a contour shade highlight shade and then a bronzy shade and I want to kind of mix them all together so I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and just doing like that. Looks very red actually. So I just went in with the most of with the most of it. With most of it on my arm. And then I'm just gonna do like this. Did you hear how Sega was snoring by the way? Oh, this is almost like a blush and bronzer. It feels like the red bronzer right here is very, very overpowering. I had high hopes for this. Let me stick to the two on the top and then add just a little bit of the red. But I have to apply a little bit more of the red here because I cannot not I can't look different, but it looks like, I don't know how it looks on camera, but in real life, it looks not that great. I'm just taking the other two and I'm gonna apply in my forehead. Obviously, I still have a little bit of the red one on my face. This one I kind of feel like I need to test out, out a little bit more to see how I like it because this was not a favorite. Some of these products I have used before and then some of them are just like first impressions. I'm just gonna bronze a little bit right here. Does it look even? I don't even know. 
Oh, let me go in with more mascara. So the mascara, if we're just gonna talk a little bit about it, I know I have some under my eyes. I'm just gonna let it dry and then remove it. But it is a good mascara. It's not my favorite. It's not like the Essence mascara that I love. It separates the lashes beautifully and all of that. And it gives them a little bit of length. But I, I don't know, I, I was just expecting a little bit more. I have been using this for about three-ish days now. I'm just trying to like separate the lash right here. Mascara is a product that I can kind of like not stop using or like I have a hard time putting it down when I've just started. It's like I can't stop. I'm gonna take my nude sticks blush. This is Naughty or Spice. Naughty and Spice. Do you know what I did? Okay, so Nicholas is sitting in the other room. So I feel like I kind of have to be a little bit quiet. This is what it looks like. It's just stunning. Oh, right. I remember when, when you did the foxy eyes, you were supposed to let everything like stay here. So you shouldn't like round out your face, which I've done. I'm going to take my uh, powder brush and I'm just going to powder the bronzer down a little bit. But I have been asking for him to do certain things for me for the longest time, like household things, okay? Don't be naughty. And it's, it just never happened. So this weekend, I got so frustrated. And I did the thing that people joke about in movies. I did a to-do list for him that I put on the fridge. Am I a horrible person? Yeah. He's not wrong to want to end the relationship. I'm just saying that. This is the time that he is gonna get a divorce without us even being married. That's how serious it is. Ella Mask, <laughs> liquid blush in the shade, oh my God, you guys know I love this one. Are you okay to be in a committed relationship and do a to-do list? Like I wouldn't do it if he actually did what I asked, but it's like, you know, things I've been asking for for two months. And I promise you guys, this weekend, I am probably gonna do it myself. And then he's gonna be like, but I was going to do it now, move it. And then he's gonna do it. Am I the only one that is like that? I'm wondering if we even need to have an eyeshadow under our eyes and this, Highlight is actually all I want to wear, but I'm gonna add something else as well. <laughs> I think this is too dark for me. Oh, sorry, it itches. I'm gonna take this. Oh, this is by the way, the Hyper Real Glow from MAC. And I'm just taking this shade. <sighs> yeah, I feel like it is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm just gonna, okay, great leaving it like that. And then I'm gonna take um, Angel Fire in my inner corner. How do you mo motivate your partner with doing things? Should you slap them? Um, should you whip them? Uh, should you yell? Let me know the proper way to deal with with them. I'm gonna take a little, little bit of the shade Endgame just underneath my eye right here and then kind of connect the two. I need to um, fix myself a little bit. So I am gonna come back in just a little bit. I have no idea how I did it, but I managed to curl my hair. How do you ask? I don't know. So for my lips, I took MAC in the shade Flesh Pot, Flesh Spot. No, this is myth. Why did I think that I took flesh pod? I thought I did, but okay. 
myth. I thought it was a little bit pinkish actually, so I was like, mm, okay. And then I took Iconic London Plumping Gloss, just like this. I thought that it looked beautiful to this look. Let me see if we can fix the brightness. If I'm gonna be totally honest, I don't feel like the foxy eye trend is for me. I think it's beautiful, but I would just do a wing, not focus too much about like all of the techniques that you have to do when doing it. And then I would just do a wing, add a little bit of shimmer on my lid, and then I would be good to go. Because I feel like this was a lot of work for how it looks. I love the look, so don't get me wrong, but I would just do like, and then be done. I'm wearing this. I'm always, when I'm wearing things, I'm not, I haven't worn before, I'm always a little bit uncomfortable. But this is like a dress. I would love to have like long sleeves instead because I hate my arms. I never go like this only. But I thought that it was better than nothing. And then it's like a dress, as I said, so you have like full insight here. So again, if you wanted to shop any of the products that I used in this video, I will link all of the products down below. Thank you to Look Fantastic for sponsoring this video. It's always a lot of fun to work with you guys. And now I'm gonna go to work. So have a great day. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.